excuse the way I look. I just got done watching um, Trisha's video on the Lululemon, you know, kind of controversy issues, and I 100% agree with her. I also watched a response video from a Harry Frankfurt and was just about floored that we are still where we were in the beginning, that if you are, that we're all about numbers, that it isn't about how you physically look, it's, it's still the number game, that if you are from a 12 and over, you are considered, you know, ugly or hideous or not of a desirable form, and I find that to just be irritating to no end, because I have looked at women that are over those sizes, I... I don't necessarily go, oh, you know what, like, what size are you, what size are you, what size are you, this is beauty. Beauty is no longer, you know, are you beautiful inside and out in your personality and how you carry yourself and how you, you know, present yourself to the world. It's no longer about that. It's all about, do you fit in a scale from 0 to 12 or do you fit in the scale from 12 to 20? And that's how you're segregated by in beauty terms. And I find that so, like, sad and disheartening as a whole society that we are still making women feel terrible about themselves because they don't fit in the number game. And it's just so terribly sad that you cannot be... Because she said herself that she's never looked at a woman over size 12 and above and thought, I want to look like that. That is, I'm not saying that you need to go gain a whole bunch of weight and do any of that, but when did we start, as women, when did we start going, you know what, you are not beautiful, you are not accepted if you are over a certain size? Because as far as I've read, and I've done quite a bit of reading, their size charts so what is normally a size 8, which would be a 36 bust, is a size, let's see, for Lululemon, that is a size 10. So not only do they only cater to size 12, but what they're also missing is that a true size 12 is not a size 12, it's actually a size 10 in Lululemon standards. So they're not even catering to a 12. They're really only catering to a 10. And that, I mean, that alone is just so irritating that they want to say, oh, we only cater to size 0 to 12. I call bullshit right now comparing the size chart, Lululemon size chart, to a regular size chart. And this is the size chart that is on, let's see... I've actually compared it to quite a few. I've compared it to Stanford's, um, Stanford, Stanford's? It was somebody's health and science unit. It was a university's. And, um, you know, the global average, and that's in centimeters and inches, that is not, you know, just size alone, that in inches, they are a total size under what is a true size. So a true size 12 <clears throat> does not exist in their size chart. A true size 10 for them is a size 12 for the general public. And that's just crazy. So they're really not even be tr being truthful in that aspect. Also, I believe she made the argument that, you know, Anybody could be a size 12. Anybody. That may be true, but that's not what's... Um, that's not everybody's goal. Not everybody's goal is to be a size 12 or under. Not everybody's goal is to be um, some skinny little rail. I like having an ass. I like having a boobs. My husband loves my ass and loves my boobs. I don't think he would trade them for some skinny little rail. He, I mean... If I'm not being loved for exactly who I am, and if I don't love myself for exactly who I am, why should anybody else, number one? And I think the same thing can be flipped to Lululemon and all of their, I guess, I'm not, 
I'm not saying that if you're a supporter of Lululemon, you're a piece of shit, but I definitely think that the people who are praising them for their size 0 to 12 and that narrow-minded kind of just box that they want to put beauty in, I think that those people... I feel very sad for those people because that's a very shallow, narrow kind of persona you're putting on. And beauty is not within a size. Beauty is more than just your size. It's more than just how much you weigh. And I think that's forgotten a lot. That is definitely something that we do not do not preach. And women as a whole, I think I think it's a sad concept that something so crazy like sizes can tear can tear apart a whole what should be a band of women that women should really stick together and be kind of cheerleaders for each other that instead of loving each other for who you are there's definitely a lot of hating as to oh well you're not a skinny rail or you're over a size 10 or you're whatever you are you're who you are that you are kind of I don't want to say discriminated because well I guess it's kind of a discrimination that if you're over a certain weight or if you're over a certain you're unhealthy or you're lazy or you're a slob or you're this or you're that it's no longer who you are as a person and I think that's really sad and that's really something that as a nation we want to talk about bullying bullying such a hot topic well no one seems to think this is any type of bullying that you know it's promoting talk which is great I mean let's promote conversation let's, let's discuss this out let's debate this out let's you know, let's see who rises at the end. Let's see if we see Lululemon in five years. Let's see if they're still a company. Let's see if they haven't changed their ways. I just think that the whole thing is mind-blowing that, um, you know, she didn't want to offend anybody, but she sure didn't, um, she sure had no hesitation saying that Basically, she, I mean, she didn't say it in all words, you know, she didn't flat out come out and say that, oh, well, if you're a size 12, you're ugly, but she sure said that she never, she never saw anybody over a size 12 and kind of was proud of that for them or liked that or encouraged that or had any, anything positive to say about anybody over a size 12. She had nothing positive to say about somebody who is over a size 12 and because we're playing the number game fine but today as a nation has changed I mean people bring this up all the time Marilyn Monroe she was she wavered between a size 12 and a 14 and that is a true size 12 and a 14 not Lululemon's pathetic excuse of a size 12 which is actually a size 10 so please tell me how that's correct or okay but whatever um, also, I guess people were saying that this is the Canadian Victoria's Secret or something of that, um, nature. Well, if that's so, if that's true to the test, Victoria's Secret still caters to all body types and they show all by all body types. They do not have just skinny little rails. I've seen in advertisements where they have size 10 and size 12 and size 14, um, models and they look gorgeous they look beautiful they're still toned they're still you know in shape and even at a size 14 flat stomach toned body definition so no just because you're a size 12 and under does not mean you have a toned body and you're you know just you're skinny I wish this last time at the beach I would have taken pictures of these skinny little rolls that were there because they had bare bellies they were just looking slobbish they had they were not toned they were not tight they were not you know anything but they're strutting around in these little bikinis you want to talk about people who dress in clothing that doesn't fit them I could have shown you some people who were dressing in clothing that did not fit them but they were these skinny little rails so please I mean enlighten me on that one um, I do not think skinny is beautiful but I don't think it's ugly either I think that if you are true to who you are whether that be a size 0 to size 20 and above you're beautiful no matter no matter what, if you own it and you love yourself for who you are and you are true to yourself, that is all that matters. It doesn't matter what Lululemon's definition of beauty is. You're beautiful if you're who you are and you love and accept others for who they are as well. And that's all I have to say about that. But thank you for letting me rant and I will go back to my business. But thank you.